Hello everyone, this is Simmer Erin and today we're going to be taking a look at Discover University CAS. Now I'm going to give a lot of disclaimers. First of all, this video was made possible by a good friend of mine who actually gifted me this pack. I wasn't planning on necessarily buying it just because I'm a little bit low on funds right now and I am so grateful to them. I am not going to mention their name right now just because I want to make sure that's okay with them. But thank you so much for gifting me this pack. It means a lot to me. Next thing I just want to take care of is that I need some disclaimers because a lot of people have done cast reviews of Discovery University and while I think that Discovery University is overall, from what I can tell, I haven't gotten to explore the game yet, a pretty good pack. And there's a lot of things I really like about Discover University, and I do want to get into that. I do want to do some reviews about that. I also think that there's a lot of really great elements in cast. However, I do not feel the way a lot of people do about the cast, and that's mostly because I noticed some patterns in cast that worried me a little bit. And you might think as I go for this, that I'm being a little bit nitpicky. So I apologize in advance. If you guys don't agree with me, it's totally 100% okay. But I do want to point some things out. And again, this is not to rain on anyone's parade. I really do think that Discover University honestly is a good pack overall. But I also value honesty on my channel. And if I was to go through and do a cast review and just say that I think it's the best cast ever, which is a lot of people's opinions, which is fine then I wouldn't be genuine to myself. So those are my those are my prefaces right here. I do understand a lot of people are going to disagree with me this and honestly I was really nervous to do this. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. And the first thing I'm just going to note and I'm not going to go into detail too much about this is my biggest problem with Cass actually has to do with just not getting any traits and only getting one aspiration so the aspiration basically oh i picked the wrong one go me so the aspiration related to university says this sim wants to attend university and get a job but most importantly learn so we've gotten this a lot recently in terms of aspirations so for example if you look over at the realm of magic one it was like this as well, where it's the traits kind of serve as like a tutorial of sorts, where it kind of guides you through the pack, and I get it, but I feel like even if like we do have an aspiration like that, I feel like we should be getting another aspiration that kind of like influences their life beyond the specific pack, and I feel like we really need that, and I also feel like we really need traits, so that was a little bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like that's really important, but that aside, let's go ahead and look at Cass, and I will tell you, there's a ton of items I do like, but there's a lot of things I actually really have a problem with. And so this could be a little bit disorganized, just so you know, and I just want to kind of compare some things. So basically, when I was looking at this cast, when I was looking at the live stream, a lot of people's initial reactions were like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And my initial reaction was, this stuff looks really familiar to me. And I don't usually feel that way when I look at cast, and I usually really like the cast in The Sims 4. And it wasn't that I don't like it, it's that a lot of these items just really, to me, screamed like, I feel like we already have this in our game. So let me show you a couple examples. Some are gonna be like more illustrative than others, and some are a little bit of a stretch, but maybe you can see what I mean. So there's this lovely like maxi dress and I do understand, a skirt rather, and I do understand why it is in university. But initially when I saw that, initially I immediately was like, I feel like we have something like that. So in fact, I think this sim is hopefully modeling it. No, she's not. Hold on just a second because I have a lot of like outfits I want to show you guys. And honestly, I'm like super disorganized with this and I want to make sure I can get... If I, if I don't have it queued up, then I can just like go ahead and hopefully, you know, find the skirt for you guys because I do want to show you this. And like I said, I'm like super disorganized. Here it is. So you see this skirt right here? So pay attention to it, right? We've got the same kind of length going on here. It looks like it's about the same shape. It's about the same color. There is this cute little button detail. I believe this skirt came with Get Famous. So let's go back and look at the Discovery University skirt, okay? Obviously, there's some differences, right? The texture is a little bit different and the waistband's a little bit different and they changed the button. But in terms of, you know, 
overall idea, I feel like, I feel like it's pretty similar, okay? So that's the first thing I noticed. Now, am I against them kind of reusing some stuff or like maybe playing off of meshes or even like having inspiration? I'm not. But as I was going through, I noticed some other things that I felt like were a little bit familiar. So let's go ahead and change her outfit. Let's see here. What was her first outfit here? Okay, so this is another example of something. So I saw the skirt and it's kind of a unique design, right? It's kind of like asymmetrical and it has like a very specific place it hits. And I thought to myself, I really feel like I've seen this skirt somewhere before. The other thing I also want you to note is also this top. Now, the, the front I didn't really think much of, but this back reminded me of something strongly as well, immediately. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it reminds me of. So let's see here. Let's pull our other sim up. And like I said, I do apologize because like my outfits, I was originally gonna do this in a different way because I didn't think I was actually gonna get Discover University. So here we go. So again, obviously it's very different in terms of like color, tone, and some things have been changed. But you see here, it's the asymmetrical skirt. It kind of falls along the very same line. And then in terms of the top, I could see how you could say, oh, but that's different because like the, the, the scoop neck, like on the other end, right? But if you see how it crisscrosses, and then especially if you go in the back, kind of looking at how it crisscrosses, it kind of feels like an invert of the one we just saw. So let's go ahead and pull this one back up. Clearly there's some big differences going on, but again, I feel like that skirt is, it falls exactly the same. I do definitely think that skirt is the same mesh. I don't think the top is the same mesh. However, I feel like they did a lot of inspiration from that last top. And so definitely reminds me of that. If you're curious, by the way, those skirt, the skirt right here, it is from Island Living and this top is from Get Together. So let's go ahead and look at just a couple other ones. I'm not gonna like go through all of them, but the thing is there are a number of examples of me kind of feeling this way. And this one was another one. So when I saw this, I thought it was pretty cute. But however, unfortunately, number one, my dogs are barking. I hope that you can't hear that. But what I noticed about this is that it reminded me of something and I'm pretty sure it was from Cats and Dogs. Okay, so let me go ahead and try to find that. Here it is. So this is the overall coverall, whatever you want to call it, from Cats and Dogs. So clearly there are some differences. However, there's a lot of like glaring similarities. So in terms of the overall fit and style, I would say it's pretty similar. In terms of the overall concept, it's pretty similar. You've got a crop top underneath the coveralls. Let's go ahead and look back at that Discover University one. So again, the textures are different, I recognize that, but again, the fit is very similar. You've still got the cuff jeans. Yes, they did move them down. Yes, the texture is differently. But again, same concept, same coloration even. So that's what that reminded me of a lot. We also did get something like that in Island Living. However, I find that it's not as big of a match. You know, it doesn't have like the buckle detail like the two have. Let me go ahead and see if I can find the one from Island Living that I'm thinking about. But honestly, when I looked at the one from Island Living, like the concept's kind of similar, but it wasn't enough that I felt like it was, you know, as close of a call for me at least. So Island Living, I think it was like this one and originally I kind of reminded me of. And again, it is kind of like a similar concept, right? You can see once again, it's the crop top in between there and it's kind of like a cutout overall. However, I will say like it's different enough that yeah, I can kind of deal with it. So yeah, so those were the ones that I kind of noticed for that. And then let me see if I can find another one. There is this one. This one I don't think is as big of a deal because I think they're both cute in their own way. So it's this really cute like plaid dress. Let me go ahead and see if I can find it for you guys. Like I said, I'm a little bit disorganized. So the plaid dress is probably like the weakest one. So if I can't find it in my in my outfits, it's okay. But basically Discover University does come with a plaid dress as well, which we can look at in a minute. And it kind of reminded me of that, but it's not enough to kind of show you. However, I would say this is the biggest one right here. See this jacket right here, really cute details. I really like it. I like how it fits on the sim. I like the zipper details. Some, a lot of people, a lot of people did like this. However, 
in our base game, I believe, we do have something that's very similar to it. So let me go ahead and see if I can find that. I'm trying to figure out like where I put it because, you know, originally I was organized. Here it is. So again, this is the base game. Now you can initially say, you can say, yeah, like the texture isn't as good. So that's really great that like the Sims team is improving on textures. If you zoom in, you can tell the texture is not as good. And yeah, there is a dress shirt underneath. However, look at the zipper details. Look at the way it fits her. Look at the little details or the met metallic details. And then look at this one. Now, I would say that Discover University one, I will just give it this. It is way better in terms of texture, like I said before. But it also is kind of a dead ringer to me. And that's kind of just what I've been noticing as I've been going for this is it's not all the pieces. There's some super original pieces. But there's a number of them that really just strongly remind me of things we already have in game. And this is what I noticed with this pack more than any other cast. And that's why I can't like, that's why I can't say that it's like the best cast ever because I feel like there's a number of things where they've kind of been a little bit too close on reusing their meshes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and look at the males really quickly and I'll show you a couple examples of those. So this one is actually one that a bunch of people caught up on. This is actually a hair from Realm of Magic. It's from Morgan. If you know who they are, they are one of the main spellcasters. A lot of people really like them. And then here's the one we got from Discovery University. Right? So yeah, they did change some things and I do appreciate that, but it's obviously using the same mesh, right? They kind of added some volume. So, you know, it's one of those things where like, in of itself, it's not terrible, it's not awful, but like taken together, I really wish there were less of these pieces where I felt like it was kind of similar. So what about this one? So that was a base games hoodie, and then here's a Discover University hoodie. I kind of feel like Discover University, all the items are like way better in terms of like the textures are excellent, guys, and it's very well made. I just wish that the styles were a little bit more unique, right? Because you can see this white ridge, same kind of design, same idea. Again, not the same thing. I would argue I would use this in a heartbeat over the other one. But again, just one of those things where I feel like it's a little bit sketchy in terms of kind of reusing things. I'm gonna see if there's any other examples. This one is really minor, guys, and you guys are probably gonna disagree with me. But I feel like, again, we can just like maybe get some more unique items right because again i feel like that's like the same mesh maybe but they kind of just like repurpose it which i'm okay with because they did do they did do enough that i'm like buying it but i guess my point of this all is just there was a lot of items that really reminded me of things we already have from other packs and i thought it was going crazy but looking at this it isn't quite as close admittedly as i first thought but looking at this, I do think that is a little bit of a problem. Now, I feel like this cast review would not be complete without me telling you some things I actually like. And thank you, by the way, if you stuck through me, through with me through this whole thing, because honestly, guys, I know that this is probably not like something that's gonna be considered really popular. I know that some people are going to be really kind of upset in terms of just feeling like I didn't accurately like kind of depict Discovery University. I'm not saying that the cast is bad. I'm just saying I'm a little bit disappointed in terms of a lot of the items felt really familiar to me. So here are some items that didn't feel as familiar to me. This still is like an overall kind of idea, but it's different and it's different enough. I'm kind of buying it and I think it's really cute. Same with this right here, right? So like, it is kind of a similar idea, but it's enough different that I feel like it's a really unique piece. I also really loved this dress right here. I think this is super cute. I just really love this. My only caveat is I probably make these straps like a little bit wider, but otherwise I really love it. I also just really, this is the, by the way, this is the plaid dress I was talking about. I think it's honestly different enough that I'm okay with it. It's not as close as some of the other items. I also feel like, Discover University cast really excels in the jeans. I'm just so glad that we're getting new jeans. I would love these to be a little bit more high right I can't talk high-waisted, but otherwise, like I don't really have anything to complain about. 
you know, I'm not a kind of sweatshirt person. I'm not kind of like an athletic person, but these are adorable. Um, I mean, actually I'm an athletic person. I don't know what I'm talking about. I run, but like, I don't wear this kind of stuff in my everyday life, but I think these are really adorable. And I think a lot of university students do. And so I really like a lot of the pants. And so I can really appreciate that. I really love the textures on that. I really love this skirt as well, even though it's not my style. I think that everything's really well made. And so for people to say, oh, this is like, you know, one of the best casts, I get it, guys. I totally get it. My only caveat, again, is the traits and then just feeling like there's a number of the pieces where I felt like they're kind of being reused, like ideas, concepts, and meshes we've gotten in past games. But anyway, that's basically, those are some of the items I really like that I just showed you from the women's. I really think that like the pants are probably the best followed by the dresses. And then as far as men, thank goodness we actually have some good stuff for men because I feel like we are always lacking. So despite my little, you know, saying that this looked a little familiar, I really do like this. I think that the hoodies are really well made. I really love the details like right here. And I really, I don't know. There's a couple, couple of these shirts I'm not as fond of. Oh, this is another shirt that kind of reminded me of something in game, but I'm not going to show you that example because I don't think it's close enough. It just reminded me of the textures and the patterns. This one is just like a nice dress shirt. It's a little bit different, but I just really, really, really appreciate some of the stuff in this too, even though I just spent like the past like 15 minutes bashing it. I don't want you guys to think that I hate it because number one, I am so excited to have university and I'm actually considering doing a let's play. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I, there's tons of let's plays out, out there. So I kind of was like hesitating. So maybe I'll do something else. Haven't decided yet, but I am really grateful for having this pack. I do really love some elements of it. The things I'm showing you right now, minus those one pants. I really like, I especially like the jeans. I really like the pants, but I think it's only fair if anyone's watching this and they're considering like whether or not to get it to be totally honest and if I'm being honest I think that some of the cast items are rather reused and if I'm being totally honest I do think that we really should have come with some traits and aspirations. So hopefully I haven't lost subscribers from this video but I guess if I did I'm being true to myself anyway and I'm trying to be fair guys I do like Discover University I'm really excited to play it but there's always something I need to point out and this was something I need to point out. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please be respectful to me, but to everybody else especially. And I'll see you next video. Bye guys.